last day here in Toronto. It's been really, really fun. We were going to go to St. Lawrence Market again today. I was going to pick up some maybe some bagels and some smoked fish um, to have as a little treat when we got home. They are not open on Mondays. Ugh, bummer. Don't know what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to OVO again. Um, Michelle wants to see something else. And, um, I don't know, probably get some breakfast somewhere along the way. It's actually almost lunch now. But, yeah, this day, it's awesome. This is my go-to place, I think, when we come back to Toronto. So much room, like, privacy. So Michelle could sleep out here and I have my own room. Perfect. I think we found it. It is the Danish pastry house. Ooh. Yeah. I um, absolutely do not know what this is called. It's a puff pastry with apple and um, I don't know. But this one, pretty basic. It's a nice big fresh cinnamon bun. And I brought a big box we're going to take home. There's a lot in here. It's really, really good. Super flaky. Yeah. Just um, not overly sweet. Just, just right. I would definitely recommend coming here if you want a little something here at the Eaton Center in Toronto. Really yummy. I'm tempted to grab a loaf of that bread to bring home too, but no. Nah. What is it? What is your go-to? Right now, it's a venti ice um, brown sugar. What is it? Goat milk. Oat milk. <laughs> um, ice americano with an extra espresso shot. And this is a caramel cold brew, cold foam something. What is this? Uh, salt and caramel cold foam cold brew. Okay, yeah. It's almost what I said. Cheese garden. Nothing but cheesecakes. Wow. That sounds like a great idea. So that last place there is $100 more for the same thing that I do. Exact same thing for your I eyelashes. I have to get these filled, so there's like, I think there's like three eyelashes on. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are 65 and I get volume. Right. Yeah, that's, I guess that's Toronto for you. There used to be a restaurant in here called Mr. Green Jeans. It was my favorite place to go. I'd always go with my mom for sure. And uh, they just had really big food. I guess that's what I it was. They were early pioneers in ridiculously oversized food. And they made their own potato chips. And, 
I thought that was so cool. I'm not sure why the helicopters are, there's actually three of them. We're flying in a formation. Usually only see this at the beginning of uh, monster movies or any of your major large monsters are about to come out of the ocean. I mean, or a lake in this case. So I assume that's what's going on. <laughs> Toronto and the smells. In the daytime, early, it's got a bit of a sewagey smell. And at night, uh, it's nothing but weed. Really? Really? Never really, never jaywalk so much. <laughs> you very squeaky shoes. <laughs> For here. Absolutely. Well, here it is. My first ever sushi burrito. That looks so good. Good. I hit mine with some wasabi and some soy sauce. It's just, a, it's like a giant roll. It's not like, um, for some reason I thought it would be like a tortilla, but it's just a big piece of nori. That was really, really good. Mm. Oh, so much fresh. Fresh everything. There's something crunchy inside, and there's that seaweed salad. Mm, it's really good. Definitely recommend. All right, that was fantastic. Let's go find something else and we'll share that too. All kinds of stuff down here. Oh, the bad my place is closed. Some ban mai and uh, pork belly bao. So got this awesome ban mai and uh, a pork bao, pork belly bao. This seems like a great place to just sit down and enjoy it. This pigeon was just eyeing me up here. He's like, You're gonna make a mess, and I'm gonna be just handy, just, just hanging out. Just uh, mind my own business. You too, eh? Anyways, here's my bad mind. We know you're messy. All right. I'm not gonna eat an onion. It's not gonna eat a pickled onion. Don't feed the birds. Are you crazy? I'm not eating an onion. Okay. Hitchcock! Very popular. I'm a very popular guy. <laughs> it's getting crowded around here. Ben Mai was pretty good. Not the best I've ever had, but um, it was okay. Now I'm gonna try this uh, um, pork bun. Here it is, pork belly bao with, whoops, five spice. That is so tasty, so tender and fatty, and it's got the five spice um, flavors, and it's grilled, and all the Asian pickled carrots, and. Oh, it's real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that 
was a very, very tasty lunch. And I would say that um, that pork bow was the best. It was really good. Back at Union Station, on our way home. I'm gonna grab a ticket for the up train and we're gonna be pretty early, I think, but whatever. There's, it's hard to really plan around sometimes travel day because it's nothing worse than being late for a flight or missing it, oh my goodness. So, yeah, okay. Back to the up. Lots of signage. I love lots of signage. It helps reduce the anxiety of, am I lost? Don't ever look back. Now here's my second opinions. Don't want to stay in the past. Just keep on going, 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 going. Go for the top. They keep on rolling. waiting for us when we got here. It leaves in about eight minutes. When you're feeling down and old There's really only one way to go You need to crawl back on your feet and keep on fighting And don't ever stop so the whole thing is in reverse now. So we're in Terminal 1. This is the International Terminal. And we need to get our way back to Terminal 3, domestic. almost an hour after we were supposed to take off. Something happened when they were closing one of the doors and apparently one of the slides inflated. And uh, yeah, you don't want that to happen because um, you can't fly without it. Even if they could tear it off, they've got to reload it and it's a major procedure. So I think we're probably gonna have to move to a different plane. Uh, what a bummer. Yes, more reason for me to continue to use the word fun. Only, ironically, fun! It's like uh, deja vu all over again. I think this is almost the same gate. Is it? 9.15. 9.15, yeah, that's the new updated time. 9.15. 
6.15 was the regular scheduled. Then they changed it to 7.45. And they've changed it to 9.15. And they're sending us back to pretty much the same gate where we started. So it's a whole deja vu thing. Is that comfortable? Okay. Stealing all the power that we can. But we should be getting on again pretty soon. They said they were transferring all the catering. So all the food from the other plane over to this plane. So that'll be nice and fresh. <laughs> it's something. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. This is like real life Groundhog Day. We've made it home. Oh, that was a long, long trip.